Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with our Tinkercad Jet Airliner. Today, my friends, we're going to add some sweet engines, so let's get cracking. So first things first, we are two lessons in. We created the sweet jet airliner. If you don't have that, you'll find a link up above. And then after that, we added the rotatable airfoils. Remember, all you do is find the handle. I like to move away so I can do one degree turns. And you can see it rotates on the special axis that we built. These all work the same way. You do need to make sure you grab the right handle. I almost grabbed the wrong one there and would have rotated it up and down. If you ever do rotate it the wrong way, remember that sweet undo button. So if you did not complete the rotatable airfoil, I'll have a link to that up here in the corner as well. So now let's get moving on those sweet turbines. Friends, we are going to build this with basic shapes. Once again, I want you to bring out a cylinder, make it side 64, and I need the bevel to be 2. We need to make this a special size. We're going to do that by holding down shift, shrinking a little bit, and then typing the number 15. So now that I've got 15 on each of those corners, take the work plane, set it on top, scroll down and find the paraboloid, and set that on top as well. Hold shift and shrink it to size 15, 2. Select those two shapes, click a line, and align them center, center, and then we want to get rid of that gap. So we're going to use control and down arrow till it sinks in. We don't mind that overlap, we're just going to take the two of them and group them. Let's make it gray so it looks a little bit more like a jet engine. And now we're going to cut out the inside where we're going to eventually put the prop. Let's set the work plane back to the ground and bring out the whole cylinder. Hold down shift and shrink it as well. This time we're going to type the number 12. Grab those two items, which are really three. Click a line, make the white one the master, and do center and center, and then group those. If we hit fit view and we look at it from an underneath corner, you will see that we just cut the hole where the engine's going to be. I'm going to go back to that top corner because that's the angle I like to work from. And now we're going to cut the end out so that you can actually see the exhaust come out. We want to find a tube. I need you to set the radius to 4. And I need you to set the wall thickness to 0.5. Make sure you remember that decimal. We're not messing with any of the bevel, but we want to make it a hole. And we want to make it really tall. So notice it is bigger than our other shape. Select the two of them, hit a line, make the actual engine the master, choose middle, choose middle. And when we group that, you will have a way for the exhaust to come out of your future jet engine. Let's scroll back so we can see better and let's rotate it down 90 degrees so that we can see it. Remember, it may be easier to type negative 90 and if you stay close, it uses these long tick marks. We need to put a turbine inside here let's click the work plane so that we are inside it we need to go to the all shapes and move out to page number nine and on page number nine there is a sweet one called the limpet so make sure you've got your work plane bring out the limpet and then we're just going to hold down shift and squish the corners till it fits i'm going to tell you the number that we need to type is 11.5 I'm going to look at this from an angle, grab those two shapes, click a line, make the engine the master, choose center, and choose center. So now our sweet turbine is inside the engine. It's not attached back there, but I don't care. I do want this to stick out just a little bit, so I'm going to make sure it looks like that from the side. And I'm going to pick a dark gray so that it looks kind of sweet. And my friends, it is time to make it so it'll rotate. Simply return to the basic shapes, bring out one of those cylinders like we've had so many times, hold down shift and shrink it to size 4. Once you get size 4, stretch the front edge out. I'm going to look at it from a corner so I can see that length one better. I'm going to make this one 50 again, that seems to be my favorite number. And now we just need to align all these parts. Once again, we're going to do center, we're going to make that engine the master, and we're just going to do center and center. 
we're going to put our part that spins out here on the end. So click on the end of that post we just built. Scroll down and find your tube. Bring it out on the edge. Let's start by making this size 1. And then making this radius 15. And making the wall thickness 1. I always slide these over to 64, even though it really doesn't matter. I'm going to pick a different color for this. And then we need to align these two parts so they spin correctly. Once again, click align, click on the centerpiece, align, align. And with them aligned, you can delete that. And then we simply need to group those two pieces. Shift and shift and group. I'm going to set the work plane back to the ground. And now, my friends, you have got a turbine engine that you can actually rotate. Let's grab those two parts and let's move them into place. I'm going to just grab the white piece and set it where I want the engine to be. And then I'm going to use the cone to pull it down so it's under the wing. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to select those two pieces again. Double check that it says two shapes. Do control D and just use the arrow key to move the other one to the other side. You can get those aligned as perfect as you want. If you want to temporarily group them so that you could move them as one piece you could, but I think that is pretty darn sweet. And when you're done, you've got rotatable parts everywhere. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a jet airliner with movable airfoils and movable engine parts. If you wanted to graze it all up, you could select it and get it up in the air, so that way it looked like it was actually flying. And of course, if you're in my classroom, it is time to get a screenshot. Remember, we do that with the send to button and hit send. You could also, if you weren't in my classroom, you could invite me to see yours. Click invite, generate a link, copy that link, and send it to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I am HL Mod Tech on all of those, as well as on Gmail. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.